Good morning. It's very early in the morning. I don't know if you can see out the window, it's still dark. Sun has not come up yet, but I am up. I have coffee. And I'm going to get a few blocks done of my lemons quilt. And I've got a few other projects that I need to make. So um, thinking I'm going to take you along and make those with me. Don't know when I'll get them done, but I'm going to get them done. They're the, the jobs that you go, oh, I must make that. So good morning. Let's get some sewing in before work. Okay, so I've finished work for the day and I thought I'd go to Spotlight because I needed to get some more sewing machine needles and I just happened to find the most gorgeous sweater knit. It is so soft, so I had to get some of that so I can make something out of it. So, spending money as I'm earning it lovely people. Um, it's Monday afternoon and I didn't get a chance yesterday to do any more videos because I was just tired. Um, but I had a great day. I was, I was tired but I had a great day. I went to my girlfriend's house and used her long arm and I long armed this quilt that I have made for my brother's birthday so much easier oh my goodness it's just to finish a quilt and not be in pain is amazing crawling around on the floor and basting is like my least favorite part of quilting there is always something that you just don't like that is mine crawling around on the floor with my basting spray not my favorite so to be able to get this done in like just a couple of hours I got there about 1.30, I think, and I was home by 3.30 with a finished quilt. Amazing. It's only a small quilt. It's only a lap size, um, Just and I've only just done it in wavy lines, but um, which you probably can see most clearly on the blue stripe. But it's so snuggly and perfect, and my brother's going to love it. Um, I did finish my lemons quilt. I wonder if I can show you quickly. Hang on. I finished the quilt top. Um, which is going to go this way. So I'm super happy with how it turned out. And I am also going to long arm this one. I don't know when, but it's going to be done. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be definitely long arming this one. I want to have a go at maybe doing something a little bit fancier now that I have my confidence a little bit. So that is next to be done. I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah. That's, that's what's happening at the moment. I'm going to finish binding this, um, which won't take long. Binding is my favorite, like my absolute favorite. And I'm more than halfway there. So I'll be finished this probably before dinner. Um, and then I'm not sure, I'm not sure what I'm gonna work on next. I've got a couple of things I have to do. 
Um, but yeah, I'll have to have a think about it. There's a challenge I want to do as well, and it's um, denim as a neutral, and it's my guild has having this challenge. So I think I'm going to try to come up with a plan for that. Um, I'm just looking at my cupboard here with all the stuff in it <laughs> as I talk to you, what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I've got a few things that I want to do. I'm sure I'll find something. There's always something to make. Always, always. I try very hard to make something or so a little bit of something every day because it's just so relaxing and calming and it's better than any TV show. Oh, that's what I did yesterday. Yesterday I made myself a pair of leggings, but I wore them yesterday, so I can't show you. Um, but they're patterns for pirates peg legs. Really highly recommend that pattern. Really good. The size range is huge too, so it goes from, I'm pretty certain size six or eight, all the way up to about a size 22, 24 maybe. Um, so fantastic size range. And they're so comfy and they're so quick and easy. So um, when they're out of the wash, I'll show you. But I think I'm going to make a couple of more. <clears throat> I think I'm going to make a couple of more pairs of those because they're fantastic. And I really want to find a good pair of yoga pants as well. Just like the roll top, sort of maybe a bit of a flare or a bootleg style yoga pant. So I'll have to have a look around and see what patterns I can find. And then I also want to make something with that really super soft knit that I bought the other day at Spotlight. So I'm not sure. Pattern Emporium has some patterns out that look good. I'll have to do a bit of Googling, see what I can find. But I'm thinking Pattern Emporium for a maybe like a sweater type top for that one. It'll be so cozy and comfy. Not that it's ever really freezing in Queensland. We maybe get, I don't know, two weeks of winter. So like I am just in a t-shirt and a cardigan. And to be honest, I probably could do without the cardigan. If I was in a sunny room, it's just really not that cold. It will get cooler, but, and I sew quilts. That's what I sew. And I live in Brisbane where it never really gets hot enough to use them. But that's okay because it's fun to do. I am going to go and I'll probably finish this video now. Here comes another car. And um, is, can you hear that? I wonder if you can even hear that because I can hear that. Um, okay, I'm going to finish now. But if you want to see more of me and my ramblings, please, please subscribe and I will see you back again. Bye.